So with LR Orange Piccolo and LR Beast Gohan soon coming to Dokkan, both JP and Global, I thought we'd start a series of speculation videos where we can talk about potential categories, link sets, leader skills, and so for today's video, we'll be talking about LR Orange Piccolo and potentially what his categories may look like and what leader skill he may possess. So for starters, Piccolo, of course, will be on the Namekians team. This team uh, is pretty dead. I'm still waiting for my Demon King Piccolo Dokkan Fest as well as the Piccolo Junior Dokkan Fest, so this will be a pretty good buff. The amount of transformation boost should be fairly obvious. At this point, it's confirmed to us that it's going to be a Power Awakened Piccolo. Mu Heroes, very obvious for that one. The amount of Worthy Rivals, Bond of Master and Disciple. Again, Piccolo and Gohan, the whole film was about them, so it's fairly obvious. Battle of Wits, um, this is a category where I feel like I could have put in Shudda, but I was actually glancing through. Every Piccolo is on the Battle of Wits team, so he's probably going to be on Battle of Wits. Powerful Comeback is the next one. Consists of characters who returned to the heat of battle with even greater power than before. In fact, he did that not just once, but twice. I, I believe Gamma 2 even remarked to Piccolo, oh, okay, how have you become so strong in uh, literally a few hours? And he goes, Piccolo says, I'm not going to tell you my secret, right? And then, of course, that's when he gets battered and bruised. And then, of course, he emerges in his orange form. So, yeah, he will be a part of the powerful comeback team. Gifted Warriors, again, uh, consisting of characters who have the Prodigies link, right? So, your Freezers, your Vegetas, your Piccolos. Again, fairly obvious stuff. Heavenly Events, remember, Piccolo does make his way to Kami's Lookout. Get Dende to unlock his hidden potential, right? Very similar to how Gohan's hidden potential was unlocked on Namek. Doesn't really activate there, but I still feel like they could put him on the category. I mean, I suppose I could have moved this, actually, to should have. Because, again, it's one of those ones where, sure, he does make his way to the lookout but does he really stay there for that long is that going to cause Dokkan to be like oh well he didn't really he didn't really do anything so we're not going to put him on the category but I've, I've put it in will have for now entrusted will consists of characters who's Will has been entrusted by another person. Piccolo was giving Gohan the, the pep talk, the speech, so uh, he should be on this category. Fuse Fighters, remember, this is like the new version or the updated version of the original Fusion category, so yes, he will be on it. Warriors raised on Earth, the brand new category from Yamcha. Shoo-in, uh, absolute shoo-in, because like you have literally, this is like, probably one of the best t uh, categories in the game just because of how expansive it is. Like, look at this crazy it's absolutely crazy okay so those are the will halves all right we now move over to the should have so giant form i'm not too sure if they're gonna make him the giant form orange piccolo because it's been confirmed again that's gonna be power awakened piccolo who transforms into orange piccolo will he then at that point get a, a further transformation into a, like a giant form will he have the giant mechanic i'm unsure so i don't really know if he'll be on this category rapid growth i feel like he should be on this but dokkan have omitted probably one of the the biggest characters who should have received this category which is dragon ball super broly remember this uh, by the way these definitions are not like true definitions from dokkan themselves they're just definitions from the dokkan wiki but i feel like these are very good descriptions for most for the most part right it consists of consists of characters who were able to rapidly grow as fighters if that isn't like broly's life like if that is not somewhat broly to a t i, I don't know what is or what does so that's why i'm only thinking they probably won't slide it on but remember like Piccolo is not even anywhere near blue level. He picks up the Power Awakened form. I'm not sure how strong that is, but we can assume that with the orange Piccolo state, him being able to contend with Cell Max, Cell Max being a, a beast or a demon that not even Broly could contend with if he was completed. I feel like Piccolo, of course, grew rapidly, right? It's also very similar. The case is very similar. You can see a lot of the Namek Saga Gohans are on it with their hidden potential unlock. So yes, I think, in fact, these two Gohans, right? The two notable Gohans from the series who have their Hidden power, hidden potential unlocked. Yeah, so I think Piccolo will definitely be on it. All Our Struggle is another one where I feel like every unit should be on this category. Or like most units should be on this category. But sometimes they just leave off a lot of different units, right? Like this is... For, for, for a category called All Out Struggle, consists of characters engaging in an all-out desperate struggle. I feel like a lot more characters should be on this category but there's not as many as you'd think so i don't know if they're going to make this happen although if you take a look at it again uh piccolo was struggling in his power awakened form and whilst he got the he got the easy dub on gamma 2 in the orange piccolo form he was struggling against cell max desperately so he should be on this one but, but again i don't i don't know for sure and then the ones that we have i'm reaching or it could have miraculous awakening i'm not too sure right consists of characters who awakened an incredible power due to critical circumstances technically he did but the way i see it is that the power given to Piccolo was, it was given to him, right? He didn't earn it, or it, it wasn't like always within him. Very similar to like UI Goku, where Goku, of course, unlocked that because of his, the sheer amount of training that he'd done with Whis. Super Saiyan to Gohan, again, the training through the hyperbolic time chamber. Uh, Nami Goku, we don't need to talk about him, but you guys get the idea. The only omission is like, this guy is on here, the Super Saiyan God Goku, and technically, uh, Goku, of course, I, I don't think you need to reach a level to obtain Super Saiyan God. It's just the ritual, right? So this is, uh, I suppose, a, a case or an example where he could fit on the mar Miraculous Awakening category. And I think another thing that I've to mention is remember the only pre-existing story event that they have being tied to superhero 
Miraculous Awakening is the boosted category drop rate. So I would not be surprised if one of the, the leader skills or one of the categories that Orange Piccolo and Beast Gohan is leading is Miraculous Awakening. So maybe I could have moved that up to should have, maybe even will have. For the moment, I've kept it at could have. Full power, I, I'm not too sure. I don't know. I, was he was Orange Piccolo at full power? I feel like he must have been at full power, right? Because he was contending with Cell Max. But again, it's just one of those iffy ones. I don't know for sure. We then have Dragon Ball Seekers. This is... I, I'm reaching heavily on this one. I, here's the thing. Piccolo does make his way to the lookout, right? Because he is requesting, I say he's requesting, but after Dende reveals that he can't really unlock his hidden power, um, he gets the idea that, okay, he can wish for it from Shenron. I, I believe actually Dende gives him that, that idea. So uh, he was looking for the Dragon Balls, but at that point, Bulma's already collected them and he just makes his way to Bulma's uh, location, right? So like, I don't know if, I don't know if he deserves this one, but the reason why I'd actually love for him to be on this category is just because this category is really dead. It does need a bit of help. And I think just getting a Z tier unit, because I, I suspect both Orange Piccolo and Beast Gohan will be Zeta on release, would be a huge and added bonus. So, Dragon Ball Seekers, I'm hoping, but I, I'm not really expecting. Accelerated Battle. Did Piccolo show feats of astounding speed? Uh, again, Cell Max is described in the film to have uh, amazing speed, and Orange Piccolo does fight him. He does get battered up, so like I, I'll let you guys be the judge of whether he does display feats of astounding speed. But then a final trump card, again, I'm not too sure. Consists of characters and techniques that were used as a last resort. Now, the giant form, the baby's on here, right? But the giant form Piccolo from the 23rd World Tournament, Ma Jr., is actually not on this category. So I don't know if they'd count the giant form, if that is part of Orange Piccolo's card, if he, if that makes him applicable for this category. And then the orange form in of itself, is that a final trump card? I, I can't say. I'm, I'm not too sure. So I've just left that in the I'm Reaching or the could have. So that leaves with all of his categories. He should therefore have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I think he should have 12 categories as a shoe in, right? These 12 we should have. And then at that point, we can take a look at potential leader scores. So I think it's it's got to be plain as day that Namekians has to be one of his leaders. Uh, one of his leaders. Namekians, that has to be one of the categories within his leader score, right? It's a pretty dead team. It's a pretty old team. And even though if this guy gets an easy A sooner rather than later, they're still going to need a lot more. However, in of itself, this team is dead. So then even if we combine it with something like Worthy Rivals, which I think is, a, again, a, a reasonable shout, even then, uh, like, this is not going to be a crazy team. And pretty just Warriors, essentially, it would just be a team full of Piccolos and Vegetas getting the 200%. Now, something else you have to keep in mind is we have had a lot of units this year. And in fact, Kid Goku was the first one who introduced a leader to go away, buffing three pre-existing categories. And that was because Dragon Ball Saga and Youth were so weak to where they had to add Exploding, Exploding Rage. And therefore, they added two categories to his extra 30%. And in fact, I believe the Gammas, right? Gamma 1 and 2 have also followed that suit. So it could be quite possible that Piccolo actually gets a third category added. I, I surely it's master and student bond, right? Because if you take a look, the, the whole film, the whole premise of the film is Piccolo and Gohan's story. I feel like there's a good shout that there's going to be parts of their kits which will be relying on each other. So in that sense, master and student bond would make his way into the category. And that would then therefore allow them to drop three categories within his leader score. Because again, Namekians is weak. So with bond of master and cyber, it's actually a fairly strong team, right? We have... LR, Vegeta, and Trunks here. We have, uh, this unit is actually still pretty strong. Who else do we have? I'm searching, I was about to say the RF Blue Duo. I mean, we meme on them, but they're still like a, a top tier Dokkan Fest or like a good Dokkan Fest or a good unit in general. Same thing with this Goku and Gohan. We have the SDR Piccolo. Future Gohan is on here as well. We have stuff like this guy as well, who could be very nasty after an EZA. But yeah, like, I, again, I think this is a, a an, an apt category for Piccolo to lead, right? I wonder if they could do something like Bond of Master and Disciple for Piccolo, and then Bond of Master and Disciple also for Gohan. And then at that point, they kind of make uh, differing secondary leader skills and extra 30% stats. They could do. And then the final idea that I had is just, again, the same thing. Master Student Bond, Mechans. And this time we have Power of Revival, the Powerful Comeback team. Again, I think this could be a great one because Powerful Comeback and Movie Heroes, you're getting Carnival Goku, you're getting this guy. Uh, all the Gogetas are on here as well. So whenever we get an eventual... You know, another Gogeta unit, that's going to be crazy. Remember, this guy's on here as well. The Super Saiyan Gogeta transforms into blue. Gogeta blue would therefore make his way onto this category as well. So whenever this guy easy is, as well as the LR Vegito blue, I'm presuming those two will easier during the 8th year anniversary. That'd be another big buff. And then, of course, Movie Heroes. I don't really want to include Movie Heroes at all in Piccolo's leader skill, just because if you take a look, where, where is Movie Heroes? We've had many different leaders this year, right? Gamma 2, 1, U2, U3, and then U4. So, like, I don't... We're not getting, hopefully we're not getting another movie heroes leader, but I think to use this as an extra 30% of stats deal could work. 
And so that's pretty much it, right? I mean, there is one more category that I could have mentioned. There was, of course, data mines, or I think it might even be in game. There is a category called Dragon Ball Super Superhero. I think that's going to be a very weak and limited category, but it fits the line of, or sorry, it fits the mold to where if they're going to start producing more of this, then they could easily give Piccolo Dragon Ball Super Superhero, Namekians, and then Bond of Master and Disciple. And there's an extra 30% of stats would be something like Movie Heroes and then Gifted Warriors or something like that. And that would work out well, right? Because it would include uh, essentially all the Mechians. It would then include the Bond of Mass and Disciple unit. So essentially what you'd want is Gohan. That's the main one. And then, um, what's the other one I mentioned? I can't remember. My brain. Thank you for watching. Uh, let me know what guys think uh, of the categories. Do you expect any of these should have or I'm reaching could have categories to make their way to Orange Piccolo's definitive category? And well, overall, what do you expect Orange Piccolo's leader skill to be? Thank you for watching and uh, yeah, I'll catch you in the next one.